I also just wanted to make mention, this is kind of piggybacking, I guess, off of my last video, but I um, am not against wearing um, cross necklaces and being, you know, representing Christ, um, not just with jewelry, but ultimately with our life, our behavior, and how we talk. Um, especially to those who are unbelievers. Um, but maybe this is just a reminder. But if you believe in Jesus and you are saved and you are wearing a cross necklace, and this is a good reminder for me too, you are representing Jesus Christ. You are wearing a symbol of Christ, which is the cross that he died and shed his blood on for you. You're wearing that around your neck or around your wrist as a bracelet, whatever, or maybe it's tattooed on your body somewhere, but you're living like hell. You're living in sin. I would take the jewelry off. because we are ambassadors of Christ, we are representatives of Christ, and our behavior and how we live should, we, should follow suit. I'm not saying be perfect. No one's perfect. If we were perfect, then why would God come? Why would he come in flesh form and save us from ourselves if we were perfect? but he was made perfect for us. He was made perfect for us. He was made, he carried our sin so that we could have the righteousness of God. Yet, we can't live for him in our speech, in our actions, our deeds, but you're gonna wear that cross necklace. You're gonna wear it proudly, but you're gonna live in sin. What does Jesus dying on the cross mean to you? To sit there and live in sin and have that filthy talk Are you representing Christ? Paul says, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to be a living sacrifice. Are you doing that? Are you doing that? That's it.